This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 23 of the bathroom tutorial. So let's just select a few more of these polys. Alright, and that's not looking that bad. Maybe one more ring. Alright, we're just going to extrude these like so. Actually, no, we can use bevel. So just go in here and let's increase the height. Outline amount. Alright, just follow along with the line. This will, uh, let's see, just bring it out like that and see what it does. Alright, so go into perspective and let's just see what it looks like. And then hope for the best when we go into this one. Ooh, and that is very nice looking. Alright, I'm liking this. So, we have our shower handle. If you want, you can uh, detach it somewhere on here if you want to make this move, but there's no real point. Just make sure you're uh, continuing to save. And let's label this... Um, hot, cold... Um, handle. Oops. Okay. Um, and... make a cylinder right here. Sorry, and let's go into the... Let's rotate this 90 degrees. Actually, I think I missed it. There we go. Make a cylinder. And make the radius 3.5. Alright. And then just scale this down. Bring it over and just match up the scales. And that's pretty close. So, remove that, delete. Let's give this thing a black. Again. Wish I could figure that out. But what does this button do? Anyway, um, unhide all. Alright, let's just bring this into play over here. And you can turn off the viewport background. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. So the handle is facing outward. And we'll just basically line it up right, right here. Alright, then we'll line it up on the uh, top viewport. Alright, uh, perspective F3. Bring it down, and this is... 30.5 a ton, so make a box. Okay, then this is supposed to be 30.5. Ah, 
It's the uh, water spigot. My drawing just showed a circle on it, so I forgot what it was. But go to the front, Alt B, Files, and choose this one. It's a side view of the spigot. OK. Control A and hide the selection. Or hide selected. Um, next, create a cylinder approximately the same size. Rotate it 90 degrees. Bring it up. And let's just start. Um, actually, I don't think we need as much resolution on here. 40 should be good. So just convert to editable poly. Select um, just that side there. We'll go into the quad view. And we'll start beveling. So I'm actually going to align this thing to the top just so I can get a more accurate bevel. And here we go. So just follow the lines, not difficult. When you have little humps like that, just go up and then come down. And it's usually good enough if you just do a few of them. Oops. And let's see. I'll bring this. Let's see how about I do this? a bit on that axis, because it's actually a bit non-linear, if you will. Apply. And let's see. Bevel. Right. Just bring this down a bit. Then hinge from edge. Pick hinge. And try to pick a middle hinge if you can. Sometimes it just doesn't work. That's all right. Let's actually do four is good enough. Then continue beveling. Down, then bring it out. to extrude, just bring it in a bit more. That should be good. You're never going to get any other views besides that. Next, what we want to do is select C. Um, these polygons right here. Interim edge, pick hinge, this one bring them up flat, give it only two segments, and let's just see what that does with the mesh smooth, I'm just curious. Mesh smooth. Hmm. Alright, um, we're going to select these lines right here and just bring them down ever so slightly. Then we'll extend these a bit. It's better. Uh, next, we're going to want to select these edges. Oh no, that'll be a bad idea. Well, they're already triangles. You want to try to stay away from triangles with mesh smooth, but Sometimes it just can't be done. Okay, control select those to select the converts. And we'll just expand it out a bit. Okay, now we have that more. 